Okay, I decided to try my Keurig and see how many watts it takes to run a couple of cups of coffee. So right now you can see it's got an output of about 10 watts. And it, my Yeti is not plugged into the wall. And currently it tells me that I can run my Yeti for 37 to 38 hours um, with my Keurig plugged in. Of course, I'm just going to make a couple of cups of coffee and turn it off. And that's going to be every morning. So anyway, right now it's saying it's 10 watts, but it's not using the heating element right now since I'm in a standby mode. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start my cup of coffee. And right when I hit start, you see it jumped up to uh, 1368 watts. Oh, it's fluctuating again because I guess it just turned off. So At this point, it's telling me I can only use 1.3, so it's using quite a bit. It's leveled out now at about 600. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't level out, but we'll see how much of the battery I get used. I used on here. So let's change this. We're still at 100%. We'll just go off how much battery I'm using. And I usually put two cups in my um, in my mug, so you'll be able to see when this the heating element turns back on. I'm guessing the heating element is coming back on right about now because it's still doing its thing. The good thing is I'm still at 100%. So. I just heard the fan go off. So. Okay, so. Get my second cup. So at 100%. Nope, it took me down to 99%. So if I was hooked up to solar panels in the morning and I was completely full, it really wouldn't make a difference because I don't have the extra, I don't have anything chained to this to put the extra battery storage. So I think it, I don't think it's going to affect me to make two cups of coffee.